you, Carol. Hayes written about the faiths of our current and immediate past presidents. Now, a New York Times bestselling author goes in depth about the religion of the Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. I'll talk to him about uh, how it's hip to be Mormon. Really, maybe you've seen one of these billboards while driving around town, which reads, I'm a Mormon. Or maybe you bought a Broadway ticket to see the Tony award-winning musical, The Book of Mormon. Whatever the case, the New York Times bestselling author who wrote books about the faith of former President George W. Bush and President Obama is out with a new book. This one is called The Mormonizing of America, How the Mormon Religion Became a Dominant Force in Politics, Entertainment, and Pop Culture. Stephen Mansfield, welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. Uh, you say Mormonism has emerged as one of the fastest growing religions. How do you explain it? Well, I, I think that even if you don't accept, like, or believe in their supernatural doctrines, uh, the fact is that they just have a, a dynamic of uh, society, of investment, of family, of, of social impact that's just increased their numbers. There were only a million of them in 1950 uh, in America. Now there are, now there are uh, seven million. That's phenomenal growth and, and faster than almost any other religion in America. So what's attracting people to the Mormon faith? Well, in, in an unfathered generation with, with the breakdown of the family, they, they, they promise a heavenly father. They have unbelievable community. They, they ooze around people. They know how to have a big porch, uh, so to speak, on, on their religion and invite people in. Uh, and then there's just that tight community, belonging. Uh, the community and the family are eternal things. Uh, and, and, they, and they believe in everybody having gifts and everybody, all the males having an office in, in the religion. So there's a tremendous amount of, of belonging, connection, uh, a heavenly father orientation in a society that's very fragmented and relationally broken. Okay, so why is it Mitt Romney talking more about his religion if, if Mormonism has become so popular so quickly? I think both campaigns are staying away from it right now. And Mitt Romney, I, the, the scuttlebutt politically, as you, as you may know, is that uh, he's been urged by his senior advisors not to talk about it in, in this campaign. They, they think that he talked about it too much in 2008, that it hurt him. Uh, and now they're sort of holding him back. I don't think that's going to work. I think we're still heading towards what I call a Mormon moment in this election where, uh, where there's going to be a conflict. Somebody's going to make an allegation and we're going to have to air it. The, you, the other thing I might say... There, there could be a, a collision in this election between Romney and Obama over their face. What might it be like? What would it look like? Well, uh, you, you have to realize 20% of Republicans say they will not vote for a Mormon. 27% of Democrats say they won't. Uh, you have Mr. Obama with his non-traditional brand of Christianity, many people think. The polls show us they think that. And then you have Mr. Uh, Romney, who is, who is a Mormon. Uh, and so it's only going to take a, an, an outlier comment. It's only going to take some harsh criticism when the race gets tight uh, for both of their faiths to come center stage. I, I think that's yet ahead of us. Okay, so... Let's say that doesn't happen. If it doesn't happen, then, you know, we always believe during the primaries that religion is an important factor when it comes to the politicians we choose. But if religion doesn't come up in the general election, does that show us that religion is, in, is not so important anymore in electing the president of the United States? Well, it, it, we might conclude that, except the polls show otherwise. Uh, the, the number of people who won't vote for a Mormon, a Mormon, the number of people who don't believe it's Christianity, according to Pew Forum surveys, the number of people who, who think it's in conflict with the American mainstream. I mean, if we, if we go silent on religion during the, uh, the, the, the prime, the, this, this final phase, uh, it, it'll belie everything the polls are telling us, which means people are intentionally going silent on the subject. I don't think that's healthy for the country. Well, the book sounds fascinating, and thanks for sharing some of it with us this morning. Stephen Mansfield, thanks so much. Good to be with you. Thank you very much. Good to be with you.